We've all got embarrassing relatives, <laughs> but can it get much worse than this? Hi, everybody. Uh, my name's uh, Megan Swamp Donkey Crotch. And, uh, I was just showing off my new my new bump that I bought used on eBay out of Montecito. Yeah, well, that's Meghan Markle's brother, um, Thomas. Um, joining us now is um, royal expert correspondent Jenny Bond. Jenny, um, I've not been a great fan, to put it mildly, of Meghan Markle, but that exchange actually makes me feel sorry for her. He's bullying her. Absolutely, I couldn't agree more. I mean, Meghan has taken her fair share of criticism throughout... <laughs> our media, I have to say, but you know what she's dealing with now? These these posts, these YouTube posts by Thomas Markle Jr. are the misogynistic, hate-filled diatribes, nasty, nasty monologues. He, call, he calls her um, an old hag during what he purports to be a, um, a birthday message. Um, it's vile, vile stuff. And I don't understand, quite frankly, why it's not taken off the internet. It simply shouldn't be allowed. But that's the whole problem, isn't it, with the internet, Jenny, that um, it's an unregulated Wild West. I mean, a, a TV or radio station wouldn't dream of um, putting that sort of stuff out. No, but these internet gi giants, say they're taking down posts <laughs> we all the just time, did. deleting them. I just don't know how bad it's got to be, you know, before they take this down. He well, is really a very unpleasant piece of work. I mean, look, we're, we're showing it now, just to but point out. But only a out. small clip. Correct. It's a small um, clip. But I think the, the interesting thing, I guess, about this is this is Meghan Markle's half-brother, Jenny. Is that right? And how, she, how does she move on in terms of the public and the PR when she's got family members coming out and doing this sort of ridiculous broadcast about her. She commented on it. What do you think she should do? Say nothing. Uh, yes, I think she should do nothing. I think she should take a leaf out of um, William and Catherine's book, actually, the Royal Family's book over here. And when they came, came under fire, not like this, but came under fire from um, Harry and Meghan, they have maintained a very dignified silence. And that's a strategy that I think has worked. And to be fair, both um, mm. Harry and Meghan have said nothing derogatory about uh, their family over here. Uh, for well over a year now, we've heard nothing at all. Um, but for some reason, Thomas, well, I think I know why Thomas Markle is doing this. <laughs> I don't know why I say for some reason. I mean, he is trousering money for this. He's pocketing cash. He's asking for tips and he's getting them. And he's getting quite a lot of viewers, 100,000 viewers, uh, watch the, the birthday tribute in which he talks about an old hag and says how many facelifts is she going to need and all sorts of horrible stuff. Um, so he's making money out of it. He is profiting, I would actually say prostituting himself, um, on the coattails of his very famous half sister. Mm. And, and of course, the other, the other sister, Samantha, she was suing Meghan. Um, I can't even remember anymore, Jenny, what it was over, but that's been thrown out. So this really is the ultimate dysfunctional family. Isn't it? I mean, you know, as your strap line says, we, we do have embarrassing siblings and embarrassing members of our family. But somehow it seems to me the royal family and the extended royal family have rather more than their fair share. <laughs> <laughs> well, quite. I mean, you know, he might say, I'm just, I'm trying to f see how many followers he has. Do we have any idea how popular he is on YouTube? I think it's, I don't have this precise figure, but I did he's look got, up how many people He's got 36,000 followers, which isn't a lot, but it's I suspect he's hoping for a lot more after this. But if I had been following him, Jenny, I'd unfollow him after this outburst because it's, it's juvenile. But it's not just juvenile, it's spiteful. Oh, it's, as I say, it's misogynistic, it's hateful, it's deeply unpleasant. I mean, it's vile, it's grotesque. Um, and I don't know why anyone would watch It's not even funny. So I don't know why anyone would get pleasure out of watching it. OK, all right. Thank you, Jenny. Royal correspondent Jenny Bond there. Although I have to say, the irony, like Meghan Markle has had a lot of that kind of stuff. Uh, not, not quite like that, but she's had so much hate. Yeah. From the mainstream media as well. Not just her brother. Well, she's because she's because she's what she's done. She's rained endless abuse on the royal family in this country. Yeah, uh, and she she's called she she caused has. problems for the Queen. She's slagged off Catherine, who's very popular, uh, William. And if you marry into the royal family, why she she pretty much knew what she was marrying into. She's not stupid, <laughs> and she's making money out of it. So well, no wonder she's got a lot of criticism. However, even somebody like me who's been very critical of her, I would say that's pretty unfair. You've never been on TV in a wig. I've never been on TV in a wig, and he looked ludicrous. <laughs>
Quite the thing is, as Jenny be. Bond said, it wasn't funny. If it was sophisticated and witty, you'd think, yeah. well, it's satire. But that yeah. isn't satire, that's just abuse. Awful.